So, welcome YouTube. Today we're gonna to be doing this live, because if I don't do it now, I'm not getting it done. Therefore, I gotta review the actual weapons on Twitch because it's the only time I'm gonna get it get done. So, Twitch people, you can say hello to YouTube. YouTube people, you can say hello to Twitch via the comments. If you guys like me doing this, tell me and I'll do it again. Um, I won't do it all the time, but it's for stuff where I like, I'm too lazy to do it normally, then we'll just do it this way. But with that, we will be reviewing the actual weapons. And uh, yeah, you can go down here, look at the GBF versus po uh, purchase bonuses. And you can see what you would get. If you were to buy Naramea, you get this cute outfit for Naramea that thinks he gets the animations of her uh, GBS versus counterpart. This looks kind of cute. Let's see what, did she just do a flip? What the hell? She's upside down. Oh, I kind of want to see, I want to see it in action. I want to get like a little clip of it so you can see it in action. Glass wing waltz. Okay. But what we're really here to look at is Beezlebub's purchase bonus, which are the astral weapons coming. They'll be obtainable via a later date, meaning sometime in the future via a new raid, I'm guessing. Um, and it will, I'm guessing that you can get the update at the same time because it's a North American version as well. So that's cool. Um, so the first weapon we're looking at is Soul Remnant, which kind of looks like Colossus's hand to me. Like this is a hand to me. And it has the color scheme of Colossus, I guess. Um, massive fire damage to a foe. Deals triple attacks, so you get guaranteed triple attacks. I don't know how many turns it's for. I'm guessing it's one turn, right? One turn. I feel like if it's two turns, it's a little bit too strong. But I'm guessing it's one turn. Now we have this new skill, which gives an unworldly boost to fire allies attack. It looks to be an EX kill, but I don't know. Um, in GBS versus these, these weapons are Magna, right? So I, I don't know. I don't know. But it does give an unworldly boost, which is kind of new, right? This is the first time we ever got an unworldly boost. I can't think of any other weapon with this type of modifier. Right? Am I wrong on that? Or maybe it's like a uh, uh, some other weapon that has this type of skill. A anyone know? Cause I'm I'm thinking this is the only one. I've never seen it before. And if I had to guess, the weapon skill is going to be like either 25, 28, or 30. Currently, the highest is normal attack three, which is I think 23, right? Am I right about that? It's 23% for a normal attack 3? I forget, but I think it's 23. So this one has to be like um, a little bit higher than that. So it, 25, 28, maybe 30. I feel like 30 is overkill, but hey, it's not boostable. At least we don't think it's boostable right now. Oh, Hercules has it, huh? Let's check here. If it loads. Uh, GBF wiki load. No, it doesn't have it. I don't see, I don't see the, it's the Ogi multiplier's unworldly damage. But that's not, that doesn't mean the, um, the attack skill is unworldly boost. Yes, Ogi multiplier, it's a little bit different. Also, the main skill is um, when main weapon bonus fire damage effect to fire allies upon triple attacks, which is the same skill as the proving ground weapons for dark. So in your third hit, you will get bonus fire damage. So you have to have some type of TA. Luckily, fire has plenty of guaranteed TA units. Zeta, Escher, Shiva, Alanan. Um, so they got plenty of ways to get guaranteed TAs. So that's pretty good. Um, hopefully it's a high amount, like 30, 25, anything lower than that. I feel it's not that great, but if it's 25 and above, maybe 20, I think 20 is the lowest, uh, 20, 25, 30. I think that's really good. The only problem with it though, in my opinion right now is that currently it's an ax. 
So Axe classes aren't really the greatest right now. Berserker is not like the best class in the game or anything. Um, you have that one other class that nobody uses, it starts with A. It's to be three hits Echo, you think? You, you, you think it's going to be each auto? And let's check, okay. So this one says bonus fire damage effect to fire allies upon triple attacks. And the Proving Grounds weapon says, let's take a little look here. Bonus dark damage effect to third hit of dark allies triple attacks. You're right about that. Hmm. John had a similarly worded passive. Let's look. Okay. Where's it, John? Okay, here. Oh, there we go. Bonus light damage effect to light ally triple attacks. Okay, so th you think it's more sim similar to this, right? Okay, that makes it much better. Yeah, I'm not too sure, obviously, because we we the weapon's not out. So, but I, I think it's more similar to John than it is the uh, proving grounds weapon. And it, because it says fire allies, um, uh, bonus fire damage effect to fire allies, it's not nuke damage. It's bonus damage, as in like, uh, like chaser and stuff like that. It's not nuke. At least it shouldn't be. But this weapon's pretty good. Keep in mind that we do have lumberjack coming out, which can make this weapon even better. So, um, I just don't think the current axe classes in the game are the greatest for the weapon. But, uh, um, it's not bad by any means, right? Berserker can run it, no problem. It runs Zeno, fine. So, it's pretty much an upgraded Zeno, in my opinion. Next, we have Fateless, which is the, um, Water Sword. Which is pretty cool, it looks like Aerith's weapon, I think. Massive water damage to a foe, remove one buff, so we do get the spell on this weapon. This isn't bad. Uh, what are the spell weapons? There's not too many off the top of my head. I may be forgetting a ton, but it's not bad. Uh, Lumberjack upcoming class. It's a, it's a release after the anniversary. Um, it also has the unworldly boost to water allies attack. So I do expect this to be pretty strong. As I mentioned before, 25, 28, 30. All the weapons are going to have the same scale with the unworldly boost to the LD attack. Then we have the Astral skill, which is one main weapon, boost to water allies, one foe attack damage cap against foes with five or more debuffs. This is not actually that hard to obtain. Luckily, water has tons of characters that already have stackable debuffs, which are different from the mist normally you, you would see in normal content. Not to mention you have Forfeit, Gabriel, uh... I guess fully a debuff counts too. Um, Water has a ton of ways to apply more than five debuffs, right? Not to mention blind, charm, all the other debuffs, right? So they, they do have plenty of ways to apply it. Now keep in mind, this won't be up all the time. There will be times where you don't have five. You probably have four, three, two. So let's keep that in mind. But water will have it up most of the time. Can water hit attack cap without crit easily? Depends on the amount of defense of the content. Um, yes, it can. And how invested your grit is. If you're talking about magna water, hell the fuck no. <laughs> you wish, but wake up. <laughs> the only thing you capping on magna is your ogie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maria Diva? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, Maria Buff, right? <laughs> that's, that's how they cap in. So, yeah, this could be strong for our primal builds. Magna, unfortunately, it's a, it's a saber. So, you already have a little bit of problem with that because you don't really run sword classes on Magna Water. 
So it may be a little bit hard to obtain the damage to hit this cap for Magna Water, unfortunately. However, uh, we do have the anniversary coming out, and maybe Magna Water can get a buff to be a little bit stronger. For anything that's not an Ogi, right? Magna Water has tons of Ogi damage. It's just that your autos are pitiful. So it can get better. Who knows? Believe, guys. Believe. Now we have Yig Drassel's weapon. Um, it's a staff. So we do have a staff meta being pushed for Earth. Uh, this is pretty good. Uh, it helps the Gilgamesh axe because, I mean, they already had a staff now with the Proving Grounds weapon, but now you have another option for people who have missed out on a Proving Grounds event so they can run the Gilgamesh axe in the future because you probably want to end up wanting to run that with this weapon, as I mentioned, the uh, passive skill in a minute. Anyways, we have massive earth damage to a foe, shield effect to all allies. If it's anywhere above a 2k shield, it's pretty decent. If it's below 2k, it's pretty bad. Um, personally, I feel like 3k would be really nice, but 2k is good enough. Earth Kalulu is called Eustace. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> With a really low damage cap. <laughs> Whoops. Evergreen, um, this is the same skill for Earth, so I'll talk about it again. Now we have the Astral skill, which is main weapon, boost to Earth allies skill damage cap based on their number of buffs, right? Now Earth has a ton of buffs, like perma buffs, you count Summer Alex, it's a really big one. Then you have Mahira, gives a ton of buffs, right? You have... Jessica, for like the five people who have her, all five of you, you get the buffs right there. You have Dante, who also has it. Lobella gives a buff on his skill three, right? So that counts technically. Um, Kame gives the buffs. Kine gives the buffs. So Earth does have a way to get a lot of buffs up, right? The only problem with this is that it's skill damage. Um, skill damage is rather slow. With this weapon, you are going to be running either Warlock, Sage, uh, Necromancer. So keep that in mind. Oh, you actually can really benefit from this with Necromancer, huh? The only problem with Necromancer, though, is that um, that would only apply after you attack. Kaliosho, yeah, Kaliosho also has a ton of buffs. Yep. So it may be possible to run it with Necromancer, Warlock, or uh, Sage. I can't think of any other staff classes in the game. So it's not it's not bad, um, but yeah, that's how I feel about it. Now we have Innocent Love, which is the wind weapon. It's a harp. Pushing the wind harp meta for Magna even further. Massive wind damage to a foe, boost the wind allies critical hit rate. That's okay. Um, there's not a ton of units that have wind allies critical hit rate boost. There's a lot, but there's not like every character that has it, right? There's like what Petra. I don't remember the other ones. <laughs> the only one that comes to my mind is Petra, but there's, there's like two more, I think. So it's okay. Monica, yeah, Monica. Same skill, unworldly boost to when allies attack. Now we have the astral skill, which is when main weapon boost to when allies one foe attack damage cap based on their number of buffs. Do I really have to talk about this for wind? I mean, this monkey skill three is <laughs> like what? Seven buffs. <laughs> so that alone probably hit the cap. Neo. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, you're going to benefit from this a ton um, on wind. I don't know what class you're going to run for this, right? Elysian, I guess, is an option. Um, I don't know if you really want to though. Then you have Rising Force, right? Rising Force, is another option. I don't know if you want to run that either. 
But you also have Lumberjack coming out. With Lumberjack coming out, it may be better to run that instead. I'm not too sure. So, it's okay. It's not a bad weapon. Fits the LD pretty well. And it pushes the Cosmic Harp meta for wind. Now we go on to the light weapon, whose name I will not try to pronounce. Because I'm not giving it a try. I'm going to butcher it, and you guys know that. Anyways, massive light damage to a foe. Mirror image effect to all allies, one hit. Um... Mirror image effect... I feel like there's another weapon that already has this type of skill. Isn't it the Zeno that had mirror image? Uh, let me just check to be sure. I, why do I feel like the Zeno already has it, right? Is it the, is it the Zeno? Yeah, so the Zeno already has it, so therefore the Ogi effect is pretty much useless, right? Um, automatically pretty much invalidating it, unless it had two Unless it had two, right? Um, two hits of mirror image, then it'd be a lot better. But currently, it's like, eh, whatever. I, I wouldn't be using this for a main hand, um, just for the mirror image. It could be useful, though, on full auto, right? It's not bad. Yeah, spear classes, they definitely need more updated spear classes in the game. Currently, Spartan and Sage, they're the good classes in the game. They're very meta, but they're not the most damage-heavy classes in the game by any means, right? So, um, Keeping it usable, they have the unworldly boost for light allies. And here's the real kicker. When main weapon boosts to light allies, skill damage cap based on how high their HP is. Now, this is okay, but it's not amazing, right? Light doesn't have like a billion light nukers, right? You have Melissa Bella, really good character. Lucio, really good. Um, he does require you to Ogie though. Um, <laughs> let me look at the light units. <laughs> Like, they're really good nukers, right? So, we got Melissa Bella, which is pretty much the number one right now. And Lucio. Uh, what else we have for, like, nukers? I guess Geisenborger, if you want to watch his a million hits. <laughs> um, oh, right. We have this character, too, now, huh? For all five people who have her, you know? You, you, she can uh, gun jar us past <laughs> on, on passive, right? So... You know, over time, it'll, it'll stack up, right? Pig, kind of, yeah, kind of. I want to call her a good nuker, but kind of. Sara is another one who can nuke pretty often. So, you know, Light has a couple of nukers, right? I would have called them the best, but they have a couple. Could be better though, um, but it's not awful and not the worst weapon I've seen. And then we have the very, very crappy dark weapon. This claw of trash, like this weapon is so bad, dude. Claw of trash, like dude, nobody's gonna get this weapon. It's really bad. Um, what it has is massive dark damage to a foe Tank and counter effect to dark allies, three hits. Pretty much a poverty GW weapon, the uh, GW fist. Then we have the unworldly boost to dark allies, kind of whatever. And when main weapon boost to dark allies, one foe attack damage cap on multi attacks. Dark doesn't even multi attack, dude. So the fact that even they gave this weapon to dark when it doesn't multi attack, doesn't hit cap. I mean, in the fist, too, it's like. It's so ridiculous. Like, when you really look at dark setups, it's just like, where am I going to use this weapon, right? It's just like, it's like, wow. Like, all my dark setups, they just, they just don't run the weapon by any means. Like, it's, I don't see where dark is running this weapon. So, I don't know, man. It's like, 
I just can't I can't fathom on where it's dark gonna run the fist as a main hand. It's just like it's garbage weapon, by the way, garbage, pretty garbage. So yeah. Um yeah, that's my opinion on the weapons, you know. Uh if you're gonna ask me what weapon I'm gonna get, it's freaking fist, obviously, the dark weapon. It's freaking broken. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that's not a question i'm getting the dark weapon obviously so yeah uh. <laughs> that's how it's pretty much going to end up happening dark weapon's pretty unfair i think wind is really good too um dark wind and water are the ones i like the most fire i need the numbers on it um light then we have Earth. Earth is more like, I feel like Earth can do really well. So I, I like the Earth one too. Um, but the one I think the best is Dark. Dark is really unfair. They, they literally, they took the already optimal Luchador setup and put a paywall behind it. They were just like, yo, everyone's been running this Luchador setup for Dark. You know what you bod trains people been doing? It must be really, really popular. Let's put a paywall behind it. Amazing idea. <laughs> They're going to want to hit harder. <laughs> so, yeah. That's my feeling on Dark. Um, Claw Terror's monster weapon. Uh, the, the Harp on Wind is pretty good. Fateless, pretty good. Soul Remnant, I need the numbers on it before I say it's really good. But it has potential to be really good. Yig's weapon is kind of... It's more character restrictive. This one is like really restrictive based on the characters you have. So it's a much it's much harder to use. And you can say the same thing about the light spear. It's really restrictive towards the characters you have. But with that, thank you guys for watching. I'm end this video. See you guys later. Leave a comment, all that stuff. Blah blah blah. Like all that, whatever. Um, anyways, next time. Bye.